Beaverton High School students went back to school today. Now, they had the day off yesterday as staff cleaned the building because of a fire that happened there this past weekend. Environmental tests were also done yesterday to make sure the air was safe for students and staff. Fox 12's Marilyn Deutsch was there when students arrived this morning. Students are being greeted with signs like this all over the school, while a restoration company works to clean and repair the performing arts wing, library, staff, and classrooms. The logistics of finding space for all these folks is a nightmare. The good news, though, is the fire happened Saturday. No one was hurt. The robotics team and a basketball team were practicing, heard the alarm, and called authorities right away. Fire crews kept the accidental fire that started with a faulty refrigerator from doing much worse damage. This is finals week at BHS. They were to have started yesterday. Instead, finals began this morning, which gave students like Carson Budke another day to study. I got my photography final, and then I got my exploration lit final. Carson was surprised to hear that so much of his school was still damaged. 20 classrooms. I don't think any of mine have been disrupted, but I mean, I'm concerned for our other students. I'll, I'll put it that way, uh, because I know that They've been working hard in those classes. Initially, one third of the school was affected by the fire, but hard work by staff and the community over the last four days has gotten some classrooms back in working order. One room, though, is a total loss. That's a math teacher's class, which also doubles as a workroom for student government leaders. Our student government program has lost their headquarters and their home, and one of our colleagues has lost his classroom. Everything from his um, long tenure as a teacher is gone. Every note a student wrote, every card, um, memories that were on the walls and pictures. And all of us who are educators know what that means to lose all that. The principal told us she doesn't know what the final financial cost will be. She also doesn't have a timeline for when the school will be fully restored. It could be weeks, possibly longer. Marilyn Deutsch, Fox 12, Oregon.